good morning good evening whenever you get to watch this i just want to say you are welcome to another edition of encounters with the power seed empowering your life before we get into today's seed i want to take out the time to celebrate every child out there right here in nigeria we are celebrating the children it's children's day and we want to say that we love you if your child gets into watch this i want you to know that you are loved and you are celebrated and if you're a parent or you have children around you please make out time to make them feel loved embrace them get things for them and let them have a wonderful day make sure you spread god's love to them so into today's seed um, this is C27 and the topic is the endless debt to love. The endless debt to love. And our key text today is taken from Romans chapter 13 verse 8 which says, Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. The background and thoughts on this text follows thus. If you're trying to live the Christian life and you fill it with Christian things, Christian activities, Christian books, um, gospel music, concerts, Christian leaders' conferences, listening to top charted gospel music and movies, or whatsoever, there may be something missing. And that thing is this. The Christian life and journey entails service and servanthood. Jesus Christ's ministry was all about people everything he did from the start of his ministry until he was crucified and up until this very moment was all about mankind if you leave no room in your life to be inconvenienced by service to others you are missing a very vital part of christ-like living what you do how you live and how you treat others come down to a matter of love the Apostle Paul notes this in our key text for today, describing it as a permanent debt we owe, a debt owed every day. Love involves more than an action shown to one another. Love consists of an underlying attitude and mindset that motivates your actions towards others. It's not an attitude reserved only for fellow believers. It's also for everyone who is not part of the community of believers. It is an ongoing thing that Apostle Paul continues to talk about in many of his letters. So how do you apply this in your daily life? Application. Pursue love today. Let it guide the way you think. Let it be evident in your patience and kindness. Let it lead you towards truthfulness, towards forgiveness and endurance in everything you think about today and everything you say and do today. Let love be the motivation. Filled with God's love, you can't help overflowing with love and care for others. May his love flow in you and through you to your world in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Can you say with me, Father? Thank you for the gift of your everlasting love upon me. Enable me to give this gift regardless of how I have been treated. May I follow Jesus' example in all that I do. In the name of Jesus. I'm sure you have been blessed. The action point for today is bless someone with love today. And I want to urge you, begin with the kids. It's their day. Bless them with love. Look at the people around you. Bless them with love. Let somebody encounter the love of Jesus. Remember, that's the only thing you owe the people around you. As you do so, may the Lord bless you and empower you in the name of Jesus. My name is Peace Negimota Ibarahemi, and I hope to see you in another edition of Encounters with the Parsit. God bless you. There are men that rise by labor. There are others that rise by favor. There are men that toil their way to the top. There are others the oil of God takes to the top. I am a man helped by God. His oil has lifted me to the top. And today I want to invite you to encounter that God that lifts men. To encounter the God that changes destiny. To encounter a God that answers prayer. 
to encounter a God that can make you what you want to be. I want to invite you to meet a God that can never fail. And today, your life will change for good. Is it Chimo? Oh, yeah, Is it Chimo? Oh, yeah, Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never, never, never fails. Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never